Hey everyone, it's me. I just thought I would take an opportunity to do this voiceover while I'm sitting in the car waiting for my girls to get out from school and I have a sleeping baby in the car. Um, I filmed this last night and I was using a pair of Glass Blythe eye chips, which I'd never used before. Always it had been uh, of the other material, but um, I kind of liked working with it and I thought I would share. Uh, it was definitely an experimental process. I am by no means a um, professional at this, and so um, you can take what I say with a grain of salt if you want. Um, but I really enjoyed doing this. I used a toothpick, a very fine brush, some pearlescent paints that I showed you in the first slide there, and um, let's see, a cotton swab and the eye chips, of course, themselves. And then for the pupils, I like using this really sparkly black nail polish. So I experimented with these glass eye chips that I got from Hello Cool Cat, uh, the same place where I've gotten the plastic ones. The difference being that these glass eye chips are much like the stock plastic Blythe eye chips since the center pupil area protrudes towards the inside of the head, if that makes sense. So it it has this, it, it's different in the fact that the plastic ones actually are kind of concave and um, so you have to consider what that's going to look like on the opposite side. I wanted to make sure to cover every part of the underside of the eye chip, including the protruding area, um, because I didn't want to have any clear glass showing through, uh, which sounds elementary, I know, but <laughs> it really does affect how the eye chips look. So you could either um, paint them all the pupil color, which I thought I was gonna do at the beginning and decided I didn't like it, or you can just, um, much like regular Blythe chips that you get stock, just paint the pupil area at the very tip of the protruding area. I don't have a better way of saying that, <laughs> sorry. But you know what I'm talking about, I hope. Uh, just the tip with black, and then I covered the side area of um, the cylindrical shape. <laughs> Here's another way of saying it, uh, with the eye color itself. So I don't know if that makes any sense or not. If not, uh, please, please leave questions in the comments below. Uh, but all in all, it was a really simple and fun project. I don't think that it's like a fabulous, amazing job that I did, but I, I could see, um, I could see me improving the more I do it, and it was really a lot of fun. It didn't take a lot of time, and I recommend it. Um, it's not scary or anything. So yeah, those of you who just got your blights in and are looking to customize, I say this is a really great and inexpensive way to customize your dolls. Um, you can pay people to paint the eye chips and there are some beautiful ones out there, um, many of which I could recommend. But you can also have a similar effect doing it yourself. So if you like doing that sort of thing, I encourage you to do so. <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.